In today's video, I'm going to go over how you can use Elementor Pro to customize the Lifter LMS login page on the student dashboard. So as you can see here, I'm checking out what it looks like uh, when you're not logged in, what the student dashboard looks like. It pre presents this general form. But if I head into Elementor, uh, we can see that um, this is just a short code. So there's not an easy way for me to uh, modify what this will look like. Now, Lifter LMS does have four options for forms add-ons integrations with Ninja Forms, Formidable Forms, WP Forms, and Gravity Forms that you can use to create a custom login form that way. But in this video, I'll go over how you can do it with just Elementor Pro, and let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, head back to my Elementor widgets area here, and you can see my um, uh, Pro widgets here. I'll go to the login form, and what I'll do is I'll drag that above my uh, student dashboard form here. And uh, as you can see, if I open the editor, I have all sorts of options for how I can modify this form uh, with things from button alignment to the size of the button to what it says and um, for like the background color and um, all sorts of things with the form here. So with this form, I can really customize anything and make it look however I'd like. And so now that we have that established, what I'll want to do is update this and head back to my incognito window to see what it looks like to someone who's not logged in. And what I'm expecting to see is two options for logging in. I have the Elementor form and I have the Lifter LMS student dashboard form. That's where the second part of the tutorial comes in. Uh, there is a free plugin called Dynamic Visibility for Elementor uh, that allows you to hide, um, like hide specific widgets based on uh, if a user is logged in and what their user role is. So if I head to the plugins on my site here, you can see I have this uh, installed dynamic visibility for Elementor. And what that's going to allow me to do is when I head to the advanced column of any Elementor widget, I have this option for dynamic right here. So you're going to make sure you're going to want to make sure you have uh, dynamic visibility installed and activated, and then you'll see this dynamic option in the advanced editor. And what I'm going to want to do is enable this. And then um, what I'm going to want to have this uh, marked as uh, is no. So it is not visible to everyone. And then I'm going to want to say visible by. And uh, this area here, we only want to be visible to users who are logged in. So what I'll go uh, through and do is just check all of these um, logged in roles. So I'll go through and check uh, contributor, subscriber, and you're, want to, you're going to want to go through the whole list here. I'll just um, leave it at this for now, but you want to make sure that all these are checked. Um, you're going to want to exclude visitors for non-logged in users so that anyone who's a visitor is not going to see what Lifter LMS is generating right here. All right, so I have that good to go, and I will update that, and then head back to my incognito window and reload the page, and that, that bottom form right here should go away. And there it goes. So now uh, I have total control over the uh, login form via Elementor here. And uh, the Lifter LMS one is going to be hidden until a user is logged in. So what I'll do is I'll log in with my autofill form data. And we'll see um, what it looks like with the login form when I am uh, logged in here. So you can see you are logged in as Will. That is being generated uh, by this login form here. So uh, Lifter LMS also has a, a sign out link and this there's also a sign out link here. In case you wanted to remove this area at the top for users who are logged in, uh, what you can do is use the dynamic visibility, uh, but we'll want to head to this uh, login form widget, head to advanced, head to dynamic, uh, turn that on, enable visibility, and then it's not going to be visible to everyone. We'll want it to be visible only to users. So this way, a user sees this, and then somebody who's logged in will see this. And I'll update that, and that login link, or the logout link, rather, uh, should go away once uh, that update goes through. We'll reload, and this should disappear there. Awesome. So. Now, what I can do is uh, sign out and show you what it looks like. Uh, there we go. So we see the login form here. But then when I log in, we won't see that uh, that link anymore. Oops. I'll head back to the, the main website here, students. 
um, at my credentials, log in, and there we go. So that's how you can create a clean, uh, customizable login using Lifter LMS and Elementor. And then you want to go through here and, uh, you know, make your login look however you'd like. But now you have full control over what that login page uh, looks like. This has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.